Ida for his statement, and I now give the floor to Her Excellency Madam Ratno Marsudi, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Madam President, I'm here today for the third time in three months, joining the Council debate on Palestine to reaffirm Indonesia's unwavering commitment to stand with Palestine, to declare that Indonesia will not rest until we see justice and dignity restored for the Palestinian people. I'm also here to remind Council members that you have a great mandate to maintain international peace and security, not to tolerate wars and especially not genocide. Madam President, the UN Charter is clear. The Security Council resolutions are binding and must be enforced. My question today, how many resolutions have been adopted on Palestine? How many are in force? Where must Palestine go when for decades the Council fails to act on its own resolution while Israel kills Palestinians with impunity? Once again, I urge Council members to stop the everyday horrors faced by the Palestinians in Gaza and the West Bank. Is over 25,000 people dead with increasing numbers dying from hunger and the freezing cold, including babies and children, too little for us to act? We all have the responsibility to uphold the international humanitarian law without exception to the situation in Gaza. Madam President, on 18 January, Prime Minister Netanyahu openly declared he would not allow a Palestinian state to exist. Indonesia strongly reject this uh, statement. This statement is unacceptable. This confirmed Israel's ultimate goal to wipe Palestine from the world map. Will this council remain silent in the face of such intention? A threat of a full-blown war in the Middle East is a real and present danger. In this context, I emphasize the following. First, we demand an immediate and permanent ceasefire. This will be a game changer for everything. Most importantly, it will provide space to address the humanitarian situation in Gaza, begin work, be, begin, uh, work on post-conflict reconstruction and the process for the two-state solution. At the same time, it is critical to support the work of the UN Senior Humanitarian and Reconstruction Coordinator to pave the way for the delivery of life-saving humanitarian assistance in Gaza. Second, Palestine must be granted immediate full membership in the UN. This is essential to start fair and balanced work on the two-state solution and to stop Israel's brutal aggression. And third, stop the flow of arms to Israel. Every weapon sent to Israel can be used to kill innocent civilians. Madam President, Israel must be held accountable for this action, including atrocities in Gaza. No nation is above the law. And next month, Indonesia will present its oral statement for the ICJ advisory opinion brought to the court on the mandate of the General Assembly. Indonesia will take any possible avenues to support Palestine. Thank you, Madam President. I thank Her Excellency, Madam Marsudi, for her statement.